The Charger Daytona has a 50 year heritage that goes back to 1969. Fast forward to present time, the Charger is now a four door muscle car. Hello Dream Car Driving Family, it's your boy Tony Rivera. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new, subscribe to the Dream Car Driving Family, like this video, comment down below and tell us what's the next vehicle you want to see in a review, POV, whatever it may be. But today, we're going to be looking at this 2020 Dodge Charger RT Daytona. The 2020 RT front end takes inspiration from its bigger brother, the Hellcat, giving the RT a dominant presence. Before we get to the sound, under the hood lies a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. has made it to an 8-speed torque flight transmission. The paint color is called the pitch black with matte black exterior decals on the hood, roof, and the iconic Daytona logo wrapped around the side rear panel. And yeah, for you trunk fetish inhabitants, it's spacious. Sitting down in these Napa leather seats, you really feel how firm it is and how bolstered the sides are. The dash is adorned with white stitching and the door cards get the same treatment. Chrysler's infotainment system is user friendly and easy to use and intuitive. This is one thick mama with some curves. What's holding her up is some 20 inch rims wrapped in Goodyear Eagle F1 245-45 rubber. Just taking her to the park, she gets all the attention. Let's put her to work with a 0-60 to time run. Launch control off, sport mode activated. We have been cleared for a 0-60 to time in 3, 2, 1. In a real world situation, this 2020 Charger Daytona RT packs a punch. You have people on forums saying, oh, just skip to the 6.4 liter SRT engine that the Scat Pack has. But undoubtedly, for your everyday dad, your everyday mom, that wants a little bit more power, this is more than enough for what you need. I am convinced that a newer charger like this is something I would definitely like since I have children. We have 370 horsepower pushing this behemoth. 395 pound-feet of torque sending it all to the rear wheels. The wonderful thing about the charger platform is that you can get it in a six cylinder. You can get it with all wheel drive exclusively on the 3.6 liter. You can get it with a 5.7 liter. You can get it with a uh, 6.2 liter in the Hellcat and you can get it as a 6.4 as well. While driving this Daytona, let me tell you, you can either drive it automatically or you can drive it with the paddle shifters. And I find myself liking it in automatic mode because it's just as quick. Every tap of the foot, the car knows exactly what you want to do. Yeah, I understand the paddle shifters, you know, it gives you more of an intuitive, more of an involvement. But at the same time, the automatic transmission, in which this has an eight speed, it is phenomenal. It is mwah, buenísimo. I can't even tell you how good it is unless you guys were to drive it yourself. I'm Tony Rivera. This is Dream Car Driving, and I hope you enjoy your wonderful day, wherever it's at.